Hi everyone. I'm Laura Barat, a tropical Vedic astrologer and tarot card reader and cards of truth reader. If you are interested in any of those things, please visit my website at laurabaratastrologer.com. Okay, so today we're talking about Venus in the eighth house. And just like any other planet in the eighth house, Venus can give interest in astrology and occult sciences because that's what the eighth house rules. Uh, believe it or not, Jaimini designates Venus as the planet of prophecy. He also gives one of the um, one of the planets for being an astrologer is Venus because it gives the gift of prophecy. So when you have Venus in the eighth, uh, the person will probably be um, a good fortune teller, astrologer. They might have probably have psychic tendencies, uh, and um, and also Venus is the planet of enjoyment of this world, where we get our enjoyment, if we can enjoy this world, and um, how much enjoyment we're going to get out of something. And um, Venus rules food and drink and um, the sensual pleasures and all of those kinds of things. So Venus is very much a worldly planet. And uh, the eighth house is a house of moksha or enlightenment, a water house. It's a house of um, yoga, meaning spiritual practices to, um, to kind of face our, um, our psychology and work that out and uh, let go of resentment and things like that. So when Venus is in this house, uh, the person is really concerned with the mundane um, areas of, of, get, of helping their psyche. They're very concerned with psychology. Um, when, because Venus is the planet of therapy, worldly therapy. He was the guru of the demons or, or the Asuras in, um, in uh, the, the planetary kingdom. He's one of the gurus of the Asuras who are always fighting the Devas, whose guru is Jupiter. And so what Venus offers, he had uh, the, he was given the boon to um, resuscitate people. He could bring people back to life. So Venus is what we need to rejuvenate us on this, on this worldly plane, being on the, the earthly plane. And so when it's in the eighth house, those kinds of things rejuvenate us and help us. And um, we want to refresh our psyches and our minds and our spirits. Uh, so it's really good for um, counseling people and also counseling yourself and going down deep in those regards. Um, and then also uh, with regard to relationships, um, it's, it can uh, break relationships very abruptly. So when a couple breaks up, uh, that can happen very quickly, uh, like overnight or, or just within a minute. And um, it's the planet of the wife or girlfriend in a man's chart. So if it's in the eighth house, eighth house, the girlfriend can either be very psychic or an astrologer or something like that, or there's something about her that is inherently flawed because um, the eighth house is the house of the flaw. And sometimes she can have something wrong with her health or um, something wrong inside psychologically, something like that. Uh, Venus in the eighth house can show an attraction for very strong attraction for taboo things like a certain sexual fetish fetishes and attraction to women who are this is in a man's chart um attraction to women who are um, a little unstable mentally unstable or um you know um overly maybe bipolar or something like that that have some psychological issues uh and um also, Venus rules marriage, so um, the marriage can either happen very quickly or it can end very quickly. Um, the It comes about in a strange um, taboo way or a strange mysterious way. Pe people who have Venus in the eighth are very attracted to those things, mysteries, and um, and so so uh, yeah, that's a lot of. Um, a lot of different things about Venus in the eighth. And uh, it really depends on how strong Venus is. If Venus is with his friend Mercury, that's that really adds to the power of the eighth house and the power of Venus in the eighth house. 
and tends to bring out the better side of the eighth house, which is all of those uh, spiritual and psychological healing methods. Um, if Venus is with the sun, that uh, the sun is not a friend to Venus, and that can um, harm Venus somewhat. Or if Venus is a sign of Leo or um, or Cancer, uh, because the the um, moon is not a friend to the Venus either. And um, it can just uh, make for a very up and down love life, like, you know, being on a roller coaster with your love life. If And this is for men and women. So, um, uh, and if um, Venus is with the sun, the person has to, um, maybe they're attracted to people who have narcissistic and selfish tendencies. Uh, and... Um, want to i found that you know a lot of these people are attracted to that in in some ways and they're attracted to people who drain them psychically and physically so um so that's that can afflict venus you know and it can cause some paranoia around relationships and some un, um, unsubstantiated paranoid fears around the person's partner and how they um how they bond with the person. When Venus is in the eighth house, the person, the person's partner can be very affectionate and bring a lot of um, Venetian qualities to the relationship because that eighth house is the bond in the relationship and what makes it or breaks it. If it's a strong Venus, then um, there's a lot of affection and um, caring. Ven uh, Venus is the nurse and the therapist. So the person is very caring as well. But if Venus is afflicted, then it can be the opposite. And the person can be selfish and narcissistic, especially if Venus is with Saturn in the eighth. Um, and, and, then, and then give the person who has that Venus in the eighth house a lot of paranoia about relationships. Um, so, and, and difficulty in trusting other people. The, the eighth house is our ability to trust and if Venus is afflicted there, we can have some problems uh, trusting in a relationship um, or in properly bonding with our relationship partner. And so, um, so yeah, but also a good position for healing, for psychological healing, because Venus is the nurse and therapist. And if the person really wants to search within themselves and uh, try to improve themselves, then yes, they can uh, definitely heal that part of themselves. So, um, so yeah, that was, oh, and Venus is our vehicles. <laughs> so Venus can give problems with our cars or our bicycles when he's in the eighth house. And um, again, when I'm talking about this, I'm using equal sign, equal house uh, so in the traditional um, Vedic astrology system. So um, yeah, the person can have problems with those things. And, uh, but if Venus is well disposed, um, they can have some really nice, different, um, kind of unusual, uh, uh, vehicles. And, um, also if Venus is well disposed in this, uh, the eighth house, their partner can have wealth or have, um, an abundance of Ven Venetian type of things like vehicles, jewelry, you know, um, beauty, sexiness, you know, what have you. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, Venus in the eighth house and, um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today. Uh, next planet will be Saturn. And then after that, I'm going to delve more into the, uh, the 12th house and having planets in the 12th house and what, what that means. Okay. Thanks for watching. And until next, next time. Bye.